Hi everyone, it's Chris Brantz at the Red Brick Church, your pastor, trying something a little bit different than my normal uh, email updates, but I wanted to record some video for you, talk to you about an upcoming series on Job, and just give you an update on what I'm spending a lot of time on these days. Um, I'll do the Job series. I'll start that. If you've been following me on Twitter or Facebook or whatever, you know that I'm spending all kinds of time preparing for Job, and we'll start that in October. And the reason I'm doing Job, obviously, first of all, is we preach the whole counsel of God here. So we've not done a series on the book of Job, and we want to do that. But I think also because, and, and more important, or, or more immediate in any sense, is that the problem of suffering, hurting people, is maybe the most pressing and most important pastoral question out there. As a pastor, I know that life hurts, um, life is hard. There's an old song that said, mm. life is hard, and uh, it might not get easier. And I've seen that. I see that with cancer. I see that with people who have uh, rebellious children. I see that with uh, people who have troubled marriages. I see that with people who are concerned over all the evil that's in the world. And we have to help people process that. And, and the big idea of this series is something like only Christ, Jesus Christ and the cross can help us um, are adequate to face suffering. People have a lot of different ways that they do it, but I, the only real answer is the Lord Jesus Christ. So pastorally, in terms of what people need, uh, this is a series that we uh, need more than any others. But at the same time, I would say philosophically and theologically, this is the single most difficult question that we face. The, the question of why people suffer, um, why we can go through so much, is the, is the most hard philosophically and theologically. Theologically, we call it um, the problem of evil. The problem of evil is the question of, given a sovereign God and a good God, a benevolent God, then why is it that there is suffering in the world? The problem of evil states if God is not sovereign, then maybe he can't stop evil. Or if God is not good, um, maybe he doesn't care if evil takes place. But given both those things, which we know are true, um, how is it that we're to understand um, suffering in the world? And we call the formal evaluation of this, we call a theodicy. But um, and it's a big, big topic. And uh, see if you can turn and see uh, my stack of Job books here. These are just books on Job. Uh, for the most part, there are some apologetics books here. But for the most part, these are books on Job. And I am studying um, hours and hours and hours on this. I've been reading, spending a lot of time in uh, Tim Keller's book, uh, walking with God through pain and suffering. And if you follow me on social media, you know that I'm I'm talking about that all the time. I'm tweeting about it. I'm posting about it. It is, uh, without question, I think, one of the best books that I have ever read. So that's coming up, Job, in the fall. And I'm sharing this, to, first of all, to let you know what's happening. Second of all, to know how I'm spending my time. And third, to let our church family um, know some ways that they can be a part of this. And I did just share three things real quickly. Uh, number one, pray. Pray. You know, Spurgeon said, if our word, if the, if the preaching of the word of God is to have any eternal value, then we need the Holy Spirit as much as Moses needed the Spirit to part the Red Sea. And we do. Uh, nothing of eternal consequence is going to happen with preaching apart from prayer. So pray that God's word would come powerfully to bear on life, uh, that it would come with the power of the Holy Spirit. Actually, I'll be preaching about that um, on Sunday, Lord willing, and so more about that then. But be praying all the time for the preaching of the word. Second, be inviting people to church. Be inviting to people to church. You know you've heard me say many times that the reason my family came to church was because a school teacher 
um, cared enough just to invite us to go to a, a church where the gospel is preached. And, and we were so blessed by that. And we're asking you to do the same thing. Um, God can use that in eternal ways. I, I would say, especially this fall, um, people who are hurting. People have questions, and they don't want trite, simplistic answers. They don't want thin answers. They want the depth of the word and, and this, the uh, consolation that can only be found in the Lord Jesus Christ. And third, um, do what you've been doing. Just keep church going. Uh, we know that it's been crowded in every way this summer. Our vacation Bible school program was packed to the max in our small building. Uh, our Sunday morning service, we know that you've been in the overflow, that you've been really packed out there and you've been crammed in. Um, but, but God's using it in tremendous ways. And so just keep doing what you're doing with Christian Ed, with um, having people over, with loving on people. Thanks so much for, for loving one another. Uh, thanks for inviting people over, for cooking meals, for doing those things. I keep doing what you're doing as trustees. I keep giving so the Lord's work can continue on. Um, keep doing those things. Listen, um, I've never worked any harder uh, for a sermon series than I'm working on this one, on the book of Job. It's one that I, I could not have previously preached. Oh, I, it's taken me uh, 20 years, I think, after seminary of studying to really be in a place where I would feel that I can and take this on. And some of the resources that I'm using uh, were not available. I, I've been reading um, hundreds, probably thousands of pages. Um, I went away to Lake Geneva and studied for a week uh, with a world-class scholar on the book of Job and with other world-class pastors um, I, I, I don't throw myself in that group, but some of the guys I'm with are, are really great. So if you listen all the way to the end, I'm seven minutes um, If you into this thing. If you listen all to the way to the end, I'd be curious to hear that. And so maybe uh, send me a message back one way or another. I'm thankful to be your pastor. I'm thankful for the Red Brick Church. God bless.